Okay, so just before um, starting to add our references, I'm just going to set up a couple of groups uh, for each assignment that I'm going to do. So it is recommended then that if you have a specific assignment, that you group all of the references for that assignment together. Uh, so do, to do that, we're just going to create a group very quickly. So we'll come to Organize up at the top. We'll click on Manage My Groups. At the moment, I don't have any groups created yet. So we'll just click on New Group. Uh, we'll give our group a name, so I'm just going to call mine Assignment 1, click OK, and then that's our group created now. So that's ready now for me to start adding my references to it. Okay, so now that we've set up our groups, we're now ready to start collecting our references. So I'm just on the library's website now, and I'm going to do a search for information literacy, uh, just to bring up some results on Summon. So typically when you're doing research, you'll normally be using Summon or some similar kind of database. Um, so as you're going along, maybe you're clicking on the preview, you're reading abstracts, and you're deciding which articles that you'd like to read later. Um, so it's a good idea at this stage then to save these articles to your EndNote library. So for example, on this one here, if I want to save it, um, I just go up here and I click on the three dots. Um, I have an, a link here to EndNote, so I'm just going to click on EndNote. And what this will do is it will download um, the reference into my downloads folder. So once I've done that, I just click back over onto EndNote. I click on collect and then import references. So this is just like attaching an email, you just attach the file um, here. So you click on choose file. My downloads folder should open, so I have my EndNote reference here downloaded. And I'll just click on open. Next I'll, I'll select the file type. And the file type is normally always an RIS file. So just choose refman RIS and then you can choose where to save the reference. So um, in this case, I'm going to save it into my assignment one group that I just created a few minutes ago. And we'll click on import. Okay, so it says here one reference uh, was imported into assignment one. So if I go back to my reference list, I'll see that there's my reference imported now. Okay, so this time I'm going to repeat the same process, but th instead of doing it through Summon, I'll show you what it looks like on one of the databases. So from the library's homepage, I'm going to click on Online Databases. Um, I'll choose my subject, so we'll go Arts and Humanities, and I'll search within Academic Search Complete. So this time around, I'm going to search for um, Information Literacy and I'll use my boolean operator here and higher education and we'll click on search so within this database basically if I want to to save multiple uh, references okay I can just add these to my folder so just by clicking the folder over beside the article on the right hand side if I click on my folders up here at the top um, we'll see these are the ones that I've saved so I'm just going to select all and we'll see we have an export option over here so on summon it was the the three dots that we had to, to click but here we have this export option so I'm just going to click on the export option and I'll choose the first one which is an RIS format so that's normally the, the best one to go with is the RIS format so that's already chosen for me and I'm going to click on save We'll see down here, it's after downloading the file again down to our, our downloads folder. So I can go back into my EndNote library, back to collect, import references, and then we go through that process again. So we'll just select the, the specific file. Um, we'll choose RIS again, and then we'll save it to our assignment one group and click on import. So this time we selected three references, so all three references have been imported into my EndNote library. Um, yep, there you go, everything is there and ready to go.
Okay, so I am back on the library's homepage now, and again, this time I'm going to show you how to basically do the same thing, save another reference, but this time through a journal. So I'll click on journals here, and I'm just going to search for one, again, information literacy journal, and that should bring up a few results. So I'll come down here, I'll, I'll click into this journal and this time I'm going to go into one of the individual articles and the reason why I'm showing you this in multiple different formats is because every time you go into a different database or a different journal you'll notice that the the layout of the page and maybe what they're going to call the EndNote download um, might be slightly different or it might look slightly different in each of the resources so on this one here we can see for example just on the the main page of this article here just under the abstract we have this how to cite box and I have a few options here in terms of which one to download now I don't want to choose the EndNote download because that's for the desktop version of EndNote I always want to choose for the web version the RIS uh, format okay so we'll just click on that same process then it's after um, downloading it to my downloads folder we go back to EndNote again and it's the same process then every time uh, we choose our file um, okay this is the latest one there so we'll open that again we'll choose the RIS option we'll save it into our assignment one and click on import okay and then we see one of that was in, imported then again into my library and there you go so there should be now another reference in there for us um, from that particular journal so every time you search a different resource it might look a little bit different but the process is effectively the same you download the RIS file and then import it into your EndNote library so on the majority of online databases or journals uh, you'll basically just import the references the way we've just demonstrated in the last few vi videos now there are a couple of databases that might allow you to um, just export the reference directly from the database into uh, EndNote Web without needing to download um, references so I just want to show you a quick example of that so one of those databases is the Web of Science so if I click on online databases here uh, if I select W and then if I click into Web of Science and then if I run a search here so I'm just going to search for information literacy again and in my results so I'm just going to select the, the second result here and this time I'm going to click on export and I see that there's an EndNote online option so in this one I'm just going to click on that um, it's asking me for my email address and password for EndNote so just click on sign in and it might take a few seconds um, yep so there you go so we've selected one one reference to export and if I click on export here it's just going to send it directly across to EndNote so without me having to actually download the reference uh, as an RIS file it will just send that reference into EndNote for me um, so again it, it take a few seconds so there you go there's one reference sent and if I go, so it was this one here, Black Lives Matter and Information Literacy. So if I go into my reference and just double click on the reference to refresh. And there we go. So it's just the second last one from the end. Um, so again, some databases will allow you to do it that way. Um, but most databases you'll have to download the RIS file and then import it into your EndNote library uh, through your downloads folder.